Hi there, this is John Kirstead from Art Expos, uh, Vancouver Island. Um, today I want to talk to you about uh, the Good Hot Tubs uh, chlorine generator. Um, you've probably heard me talking about salt and why salt and all this stuff and, and maybe you've got yourself a hot tub already and you've been using traditional maintenance for a long time and you've been thinking, hey, I'd really like to um, add salt or maybe have a salt system on my spa, but what's involved? Like, how do I go about doing this? Is it complicated? Is it difficult? And the reason why I like this uh, generator from Good Hot Tubs is uh, it's simple. It's a really simple installation. They've got this controller here. It just plugs into a regular plug. It can be hardwired into your spa. Uh, we can take 110 power off your spa if you want to have a technician do it. But if you want to do this by yourself, any outlet. You can just plug it into an outlet near the spa and then the electrode on this actually just hangs over into the spa. So you find an area of the spa that you don't use, sometimes near the filter or something like that. There's a dead spot that you don't really use. You hang the cord in there and this electrode just goes in to there. And you can see the charge plates works very, very similar to um, other salt systems that I've talked about. Um, the charge plates um, when they're charged, it creates electrolysis and causes the, the uh, salt molecule to split up. So you get that free uh, sanitizer. Um, there's a couple of other things I really like about this particular setup. The first is simplicity. You know, um, the hardest part for people that are on traditional maintenance programs, I think, is that you got to be pretty meticulous. You know, you got to test, you got to make sure that this is level is right, you got to adjust this, and you've got to remember to adjust this before you adjust that, and then, you, you know, it, it becomes complicated for a lot of people. The nice thing about this type of a system is that once it's put into the spa and you have your salt dissolved into the water, we're not really adding stuff to this on a regular basis other than um, like all salt systems having to bring your pH down uh, every seven to 10 days. You lower your pH because the natural process of the electrolysis that happens, it frees up the chlorine, but it also frees up the sodium, which mixes with the water, uh, the OH in the water, and you get sodium hydroxide, which is gonna slowly increase the pH of your water. And so from time to time, you need to bring it down. But what I like about this system is that it's got this boost button on here. Right? And it does show that there's different power levels and things like that, but what I've determined is that the default setting on this, it'll run for one cycle. And when it's running, you can see it's not running right now. Um, when I press this button, it'll also run for one cycle. So what happens is that this will start to flash, that's gonna start smoking, and it will also tell me what my sanitizer level is, right? So you could see the little flash there, I think. Did it? Doesn't seem to be doing it. There. I heard it click. <laughs> it's going through and it's measuring the salt level. That's the first thing it is. So it went salt low, salt high, salt okay. So this indicator tells me I got the right amount of salt in my water, which is really nice to know. And it does that just by measuring the salinity of the water and its conductivity. Um, the other thing that this uh, electrode does is this electrode actually has the sensors built into the electrode, which is different than we have on our other system. Like for Spa Boy, we have a medical grade sensor that's sensing both pH and um, also measuring the sanitizer level of the water. This one just measures the sanitizer level of the water and it's using a thing called chlorine voltage. So basically what's happening is it's measuring the voltage in the water and when that voltage gets to a point where it goes, hey, there's not enough sanitizer in this water, it just automatically comes on for one cycle. And so you never have to worry about whether or not you have enough sanitizer in the water because it's always checking for it and as soon as it notices that that water has a little too low, it'll turn on for one cycle and build that back up. But you can override this, and the best time to override it is when you're gonna use the spa. So all I have to train people to do when you have this system is, when you use the spa, hit the button. Can you do that? It's pretty easy, right? When you use the spa, you hit the button. If for some reason, you forgot. I forgot to hit the button. Even though John told me to hit the button, I didn't hit the button. Well, it would still wait until that sanitizer level dropped and it would come on for one cycle. But by forcing it to do it, you're introducing sanitizer right when you've contaminated it and you're gonna get the best results. You could also, when you get out, hit the button and it would do the same thing, right? So 
Some people like to hit it on the way in. Some people like to hit it on the way out. The most important thing is, is when you use a spa, hit the button. Can you do that? It's simple. And this can be added to any spa. Any spa in the marketplace, you can add this in. It's very simple. We do recommend that you get a sacrificial anode. You know, on the other spas where, we, where the salt systems are installed directly into the spa and connected to the controls of the spa, we build in a sacrificial anode into the drain system. And of course, we can retrofit that onto your spa as well. But for a lot of people, that's having a technician come out and do an install. Well, if they're doing an install for uh, this to wire it to your tub, you could get them to install a sacrificial anode if you wanted. Or a lot of times we uh, sell sacrificial anodes that you can just uh, cable tie, use a zip strip and cable tie that to your, uh, to your filter bucket or something like that so that you have that in there. And all the sacrificial anode does is it, it takes priority and it just extends the life of your electrode um, so that if other things in the water, other metals primarily, it will oxidize that first. And so we do recommend that if you get one. This, these systems are about $1,000 to add to a spa. Um, uh, occasionally they're on sale, so watch for it. If you see a sale, uh, pick one up. They're in all of our locations. So if you're tired of messing around with chemicals and you just really want to have a better experience where you don't feel like you have to get out of your spa and shower right away, then pick up one of these. Good hot tubs, salt, water, chlorine generator. It will change your experience. It will make life much, much easier for you. You'll use your spa more and enjoy it far more. I'm John Kirstead from Arctic Spas, Vancouver Island. Thank you for watching the video.